It's DJ Academics, and now we gotta talk about Rick Ross's weight loss. Now, for all you Negroes that are waiting for your fucking New Year's resolution to hit the gym, you might wanna do that shit right now, man. Because Rick Ross allegedly just lost 100 pounds. And now, if you guys can see the new pictures that are circulating the web, Rick Ross lost, he lost his fucking waistline too. He's rocking skinny jeans, he's rocking muscle shirts, and Rick Ross is obviously not fat no more in these streets. Now apparently according to him he has some type of stomach cancer and he was diagnosed about like 8 months ago. Ever since then he's been on the diced pineapples fucking diet. So he's not eating anymore. Well he is still eating wings stop because it, the, Rick Ross is not Rick Ross unless he's rhyming about lemon pepper wings. Rick Ross is the best to me because he'll be rhyming about some serious shit moving Wait across the Atlantic, he'll be talking about how much he's negotiating the price for the fucking kilo, how he's fucking downloading the kilo selling app on his new smartphone. He'll fucking come out of the blue with something like, I got sauce on my neck, back covered with sweat, I got cheeseburgers, how good could it get? This fucker be rhyming like he's fucking Lil Terrio's dietitian at times. However, it looks like he could pass down his clothes to fucking Lil Terrio, cause this nigga's no longer fat, man. And the reason why that I, this is amazing to me is because I thought just being fat, because a lot of rappers, being fat is part of their persona, which I still think being fat is part of Rick Ross's persona, right? I still think he made that big nigga, well, I don't think to females is still that attractive, but he made people more comfortable with himself. Like, yo, if you got a, if you got some man titties, dog, you got flabs on top of flabs, you got a couple of ties around your stomach, my nigga take his shirt off and do it big, right? And I think he put and empowered people to say, man, I'm fat and what? But now he's losing weight and he lost weight. So, yeah, I hope he raps about food stuff because I ain't gonna lie, man. Listen, Rick Ross got me trying fucking Wingstop and Wingstop was heat, man. Them lemon pepper wings, yeah, that whole goddamn only the boneless shit at Wingstop is fucking amazing. So if Rick Ross ain't rapping about wings and ain't rapping about food, I don't know what he gonna rap about. I mean, how many damn times could he move? He got to take a, a couple of uh, snacks while he's going to move the weight across the Atlantic. So yeah, man, what do you guys think about his weight loss? He's apparently lost 100 pounds. And I'm not sure if he did any procedure. Rick Ross isn't a nigga that looks like he works out. Right? He doesn't look like he's in the gym working out. Nah, he looks like he counts money. Doesn't look like he's working out. He has a boss type of laid back approach. I can't see Rick Ross in the gym in some fucking sweats really doing push-ups. I just can't see it. I can't see him doing crunches. But now I guess uh, Lil Terrio is the last nigga still left in the really fat nigga club. It really looks like he might not make it to even get to the point where people say you gotta lose some weight. Either that or this nigga looks like he clearly, he looks like the kid going, every kid going into fat camp every year, man. He, he stays there and nothing happens. So we, we'll find out, man. And hopefully I can still get my daily recipes from Rick Ross about him whipping up the chicken. Who I love to whip up the chicken. So you guys get in the comment box, what do you think about Rick Ross's weight loss? It's kind of drastic. But he was diagnosed allegedly with stomach cancer, and this is why this happened. So get in the comment box. It's your boy DJ Academics. I'm out.